Hey there. I need to talk to you. Come with me to the empty room across the hallway, will ya? What's with that look? You go deaf over the summer? I asked you to come with me, so we need to go. Now hurry up. Hello? Quit staring at me like that. You could at least answer someone when they're talking to you. <sighs> Look, could you please come with me to the empty room across the hallway? Oh, come on, what else do I have to do to convince you? Alright, fine. Do you want something from me? Maybe more school supplies? Money? Maybe you've been eyeing some video game like the other nerds at school. Oh my god, just say something, please. I really wouldn't be trying this hard if it wasn't important. So please just come talk to me. <laughs> Apologize for what? Oh my god, you know what? Fine. I'm sorry for having Todd spill your lunch yesterday. You satisfied? Ugh, and the time I had Todd dump the Gatorade tub over you at the football game? Oh, come on, what else do you want from me? What, should I apologize for ruining that date you had? The only reason I did that... <sighs> okay, fine. I apologize for that, too. Now, can you come with me? Look, I literally wouldn't even bother you if it wasn't urgent. You are the only one I can talk to about this. Believe me. I weighed all my options, and you are the only one that wouldn't blow up in my face. So can you please stop with this and just come with me? Jeez, finally. Come on, let's go. Mr. Bradley, can you have our late passes ready for us when we come back? You're the best! Ugh, <sighs> some peace and quiet. Really wish you didn't have to argue so much. The bell already rang and I'm missing chemistry. Again. It's your fault if I flunk the quiz tomorrow. Ugh, <sighs> here. I'm just gonna be straight with you. There's been some extraneous circumstances, and I need you to be my boyfriend for a week. Okay, I, uh, I know that sounds a little weird, but let me explain. I just need you to act like my boyfriend for a little bit. Just a bit of flirting and maybe a little touching until after the school dance next week and I will literally leave you alone for the rest of high school. I will tell everyone else to leave you alone and you will have zero problems for the rest of the time we're stuck in this stupid school. Yeah, I know I have Todd already. But this isn't about that. You could say, hypothetically, this is something to make him a bit jealous. Wouldn't you like to get back at him? <sighs> Come on, just do it. You know what I can do to you if you refuse. What's that supposed to mean? Couldn't do worse if I tried. I can ruin your life, you know. I can destroy any friendships you have. Don't test me. Ugh, fine. You don't want to do it, then don't. Leave for all I care. Go and live your sad little life. I don't care. Mm, no. Please wait. I didn't mean that. It's just... Mm. Look, I know I'm not being all that straightforward. I know you don't like me, but trust me, I wouldn't ask anything of you without a damn good reason. Please come back and let me explain. All right, I'll tell you everything. It's just... It's really embarrassing, but... It's Todd, okay? He used to just be like a big dog that I could give a bit of attention to and he would do what I want, but lately he's been different. 
He's been getting more distant and even a bit aggressive lately. No, he hasn't hit me or anything. Just that he hasn't been listening to me like he was before. He's been getting a lot closer to my friends than I'd like. To put it bluntly, he's cheating on me. No, I have evidence. I looked through his phone earlier this week and I found out he was sending texts with my friend Sarah. They were flirting and talking about me behind my back. And it made me angry. I even went and looked through his window when he told me he was studying. <laughs> I know, right? That lump studying. Didn't believe it for a second. I looked through his window and what did I see? Saw that bastard kissing that hussy Jessica. He knows I hate her. And he does this to me. After I saw that, I just lost it. It was all so... <laughs> Horrible. How could he do this to me? <sighs> I mean, if they're doing this behind my back, are all my friends in on this? <sighs> I just... <sighs> I feel so alone. I didn't know who to turn to because I couldn't trust anyone. I'm supposed to be the most popular girl in school, the one everyone respects and adores. But now everything is falling apart. Before I know it, I'll be a recluse just like you. <laughs> no, no, stop. You're stronger than this. You didn't claw your way to the top of the food chain by crying. Oh. Oh my god, why am I doing this in front of you? <sighs> Did I really just pour my heart out to you? This is so embarrassing. Pretend you never saw that, okay? <sighs> anyway, like, like I said before, this can be beneficial for both of us. I can get back at that cheating jerk, and you can finally get your revenge for everything he did to you. We play up our relationship like we're just so happy without him. And I can teach him a lesson about playing around. If he wants to play around with my friends behind my back, then I can play around with anyone I want to. Even you. And not only that, but you can show him that you're better than him. That you can take much better care of me than he ever could. Don't you want to show him what for and finally get that one up on him? Ah, uh, well, that's the thing. I couldn't ask Todd's friends because they're... Not only too stupid to understand what I need, but also too loyal to Todd. If I try anything with them, they'll either brag about how they scored with me or rat me out to him. And I can't risk that. And I certainly can't ask any of the other nerds. They're too shy and weak-willed. They'll either run and abandon me when Todd shows up, or try to stand up to him and get crushed. But that's where you come in. You're kind of the quiet type, so I know you aren't going to kiss and tell. And despite all you've gone through, you've never failed to tell off either me or Todd. Not to mention, I'm a bit embarrassed to admit it, but I have noticed how you bulked up a bit over the summer. Have you been lifting since last spring? I'm just saying you're not completely unfortunate looking. Anymore. Well, all I'm trying to say is I need you to make this work. And you will only come out of this better for it. Just pretend you're my boyfriend for one week until after the fall dance and we have a falling out and break up. Simple as that. I get my reputation back as the one girl everyone should be afraid of angering. And you get that sweet, sweet revenge on the guy who's been bullying you all these years. Doesn't the idea sound tantalizing? All right, all right, I'll sweeten the pot. You didn't do so great on that last English test. I can have Mr. Bradley change your grade. He's basically under my thumb since I caught him with Stacy. 
And if he's going to be that inappropriate with underage girls, he deserves to get taken advantage of. You, on the other hand, are going to suck me dry like a vampire. But do we have a deal or not? Ah, uh, great. Glad we could finally agree on something. Uh, hey, now, don't leave just yet. We still need to set the ground rules. I trust that you won't take this too far, but I have to let you know what is and isn't allowed so you don't get any funny ideas about us. First of all, just because you're pretending to be my boyfriend, that does not mean you have to talk to me at every opportunity. If you see me outside of school and we're not around our friends, do not approach me. I will not acknowledge you. While we are in school, you are going to shower me with compliments and basically show me off, especially in front of Todd. Touching will be kept to a minimum. I will allow one arm over the shoulder, hand-holding, or, as a last resort, a hug. There will never be a situation where I will ask you to kiss me, so get that thought out of your head right now. And finally, and this is the most important part, after this is done and the dance is over, we are splitting up and going our separate ways. Never forget that this is a business arrangement and there is nothing else to it. You end up falling for me, that is your problem. Do not make this any harder for either of us than it already is. Okay, you got all that written down? Of course you didn't call yourself a nerd. Look, you do get it, right? Just flaunt our relationship a bit. Don't talk to me outside of school. Keep touching to the bare minimum. No trying to kiss me. And most of all, no falling in love. Just try to put on a good show. All right, you're free to go. Be sure to see Mr. Bradley for your late pass. See you tomorrow for class, sweetheart.